right, here we are, Healthy Atheist, reading my journal still. We are in October 2009. Oh, my dear Lord, remind me to never dog sit those hideous beasts again. Never have I ever been so frustrated and annoyed. Seriously, I could have snapped some necks and cracked some skulls. <laughs> I hate that fez. I hate its guts. Oh, it's the Zushka's dogs. I think I included a video in the last episode. It was the wrong dogs. But yes, the Zishka's dogs were annoying, especially that fez. Anyhow, now I have to go to school and I feel wired. I need to chill, but I can't. I suppose I'll go home either after my 1.30 or 6 o'clock class. Home is the only place I can unwind. Kind of weird, but it's true. Arrgh. I think I'm at my parents' house. Anyway, yeah. October 9th. It's raining outside. Ugh. I've been putting off gates because A... I don't want to see that one doofus police officer, and nor do I want to see that Southwest Southern Wells kid. Is that mean? Anyway, I should get my rear in gear. Maybe I'll see what exercises are on demand. Found something. I think I'll try it. October 10. Tonight is the Mexican Fiesta. Woo! I'm not too excited about it, but oh well. Maybe we'll get a game of spoons going. I did find an on-demand workout, but the first one, the people on it were so annoying. I couldn't stand it, so I found another one. It pretty much worked the same muscles I just worked the day before. I wanted to hit gates today or run outside, but I fear I don't have the time. I didn't wake up till after 8. However, Natalie is snoozing. Brooklyn was supposed to come over, but I don't think she's here. Brooklyn was Chris's little girl. Anyway, I fried up hamburger for that dip and cleaned the kitchen once again. Now I have to get ready and head to Cut and Treat to help with Campus Life Middle School. Woo. At least I'm not at the horse farm with Mr. Annoying. What am I talking about? Who's Mr. Annoying? I really need to get over that. I wonder if I invite Ryan Haig and Dan to Threefold on Tuesday if they'll come. Why is my dad calling me? I'm not answering it. Anyway. I may Facebook them and see. I think that Natalie's awake. Amy said something about moving in with her and Scott. I just don't know about that. I just wish I could find a place to settle for good, either along with a husband or jackpot or both. Hmm, kind of frustrating. The fact that I'm not in a place to find my own place Still not in that place. I made, I made some wrong choices, probably. Probably made a couple wrong choices. Oh well, it'll work out, I suppose. Alright, I suppose one of these days I'll get it together and figure it out. Huh? Maybe? Just let me get done with another day of no impact and uselessness. Woo. October 13th. Man, my eyes are so blazing itchy. What the heck am I allergic to? I'm going over to Chris and Summer's tonight to see their house, and Summer's going to try and teach me that DHT song. Oh yeah, I learned that song. I still kind of know it. Listen to your heart. A musical remix. chatted about stuff. I'm supposed to give her Bob Sutter's number, but I don't have it. I'll find it. I've yet to talk to Amy about her lying. Let it go. Do not bring it out. Nobody likes to be confronted. Rach. Anyway, one of these days I will, and if she gets angry at me, so be it. I bought an umbrella today, even though it's sunny. <laughs> I have Lots of homework, but my eyes are so annoying, I don't feel like doing it. I'll get some of it done, I suppose, and I'll take a nap. Such is my life, my simple, easy life. October 15th, 
So I got up early this a.m. to take the Smiths to piano. I was so wanting to skip school, but thankfully I didn't. I guess. Anyway, I think I'll be late to my last class. No big deal. I got home and Natalie was sleeping on the couch. Big surprise. But she's leaving now. Anyway, Tom is sputtering into town. Uh-oh, Natalie is having car trouble. Hmm. I've learned the intro to DHT, but I haven't perfected, mastered it quite yet. Mondays may be good. Maybe a good day to go over to summers for teaching sessions? I'm excited to learn it. Hopefully I'll have the first verse and chorus learn by the time Susan comes home. Would you look at that? A different goal other than weight loss? Good job, Rach. Hey, you're on to something, huh? Good things. Depending on whether Natalie works tomorrow or not, I'll either do plyo or hit gates. I think I'd rather do plyo, but we'll see. I need to finish up homework. Who are those people I was trying to avoid at gates? I don't remember. October 17th. Well, I don't believe it. The sun is actually shining, so I may run outside. However, freaking Tom is in town, and I feel a bit crampy. I spent the night at Amy's dog sit house, and my word, there is disgusting dog hair everywhere. Zishka texted me and wanted a sitter tonight, but I opted out. I'm in no mood for those annoying dogs, but it probably wouldn't be as bad if the boys were there, too. Who knows? Anyway, I'm headed to church this evening, back to the dog house with Amy, unless Beck needs a sitter for beef. No beef. <laughs> but I'll bet Chris and Summer will watch him. I watched the Smiths last night. It was fun. I like those kids. We went to McDonald's. I had a salad, but I had a sick cheeseburger taste in my mouth all night. It's gone now, finally. Yeah, what is it with McDonald's foods? Their cheeseburgers, they have a weird aftertaste. I mean, I haven't had one in like probably five years, seven years, but I still remember that sick aftertaste. Guys, anybody? Anybody relate? Hmm? No? Nobody's watching? Uh, <laughs> Natalie's not home, but I don't want to exercise here for fear she'll come home, but I do need to exercise at some point today. October 20th. This is my day today, or the day I think I'll have anyway. Go for a quick run outside, get ready for class, probably be a little late for my first one, then on to the second, hopefully get to summer square piano, piano later, get cereal and bananas, then possibly go over to Amy's doghouse. Not sure if I'm going to go to my third class. That depends if I go over to Summers. I should end up back here for the night because tomorrow I have to hit Decatur early. Sarah said she has a cleaning job for me, but we'll see if that pans out. And if I even have time for it, probably would have time Fridays in the morning. It's going to be chilly when I run, but I need to get it done. This was a time before YouTube. Now when I want to learn a song, I just go to YouTube. And look it. Look up easy piano tutorials, guys. And that's how I learn how to play if I never if I ever stick to it. Come on, pages. Alright. October 23rd. Well, I'm done with all my midterms. Yay. I basically cheated on my design too, but hopefully I did okay on my others. I'm horrible at painting. So my color design assignments are sucking. Anyway, I got my brakes fixed early today. Thank the Lord the noise has stopped. Not sure about the whistling, though. I finished my assignment and then did plyo. Went to class, and now here I am. I'm probably going to Bluffton to practice the piano and go over to Bex. Ever since I started hanging out with viewers, I feel out of the social loop. Are we really attached at the hip? No, she has all kinds of friends. I still need to get her to stop lying. I suppose I'll say something sometime if I can build the courage. I really feel like I need a cat and picking husband for Pitt's sake. Oh well, Suze will be home and hopefully the social calendar will begin to fill and who knows, maybe Amy will get so ticked at me she won't want to be my friend anymore. And then she'll probably out me and spread more lies. Arr! Prophetic! Except I don't know that she spread lies about me, but she did get sick of me and not want to be my friend. October 29th. It's Thursday. I took the Smiths to piano, then rushed them to gym. Now I'm at Natalie's killing time till my 12 o'clock class. I need to get to the grocery at some point today. I also need to correct my one assignment. I may end up going to Cedar Point tomorrow, or maybe to the Smiths Lake House. 
We'll see. I just kind of want to go to Cedar Point and expand my circle of friends. Clint is off to New Zealand to get Susie, and they'll be home next Saturday. I'll probably babysit the Smiths up at the lake house, even though I tentatively committed to go mad. Go mad. Oh well. For some reason, I feel tired. It was hilarious the other night. I stopped by class, then went to Threefold. We all went to Applebee's, and of course, I didn't order anything, and I was getting bored. So, I have footage of what I'm about to read, but I don't think I'm going to include it because it's garbage footage. It was shot on a flip phone. So, I put some cheese, sour cream, and more cheese on a fork and tried to get Amy to eat it. She refused. Then I added lemon juice, gobs and gobs of salt, then more cheese. She almost did it for $10, but didn't. So I had the fork. She was talking to Clint, and I started the airplane over to her. Ashley was between us, and I was waiting with the fork right by her mouth, and she didn't even notice it. Then she opened her mouth to say the word up, and I thought she opened it for the concoction, and I put it in her mouth. <laughs> I'm some friend, aren't I? That was flipping hilarious. Oh, I did laugh. I laughed. Yeah, and the table laughed. It was funny. It was so perfect. They got her gagging and whatnot on camera phone, but too bad they didn't get it going in. <laughs> has to be the funniest thing yet. Not going to bother getting that footage. It's not worth it. October 30th. Well, Cedar Point isn't going to fly. Too rainy and crappy. Oh well, I'm off to Gates to hit the ever so fun treadmill, then back here to at least start on my paper for Pitt's sake. I had a free pass from class today, I guess. Let's do this thing, dang it. October 31st. Today is October 31st, by the way. Happy Halloween, humans. I ended up seeing a movie instead of starting my paper. Then we went out to eat and I was totally bummed, but doofus bearded Ryan D had to come sit across from me in the booth. Thus, I was placed on the awkward end of the group. Oh uh, yeah, what was his name? Ryan D. Ryan Davidson. He sent me a friend request that I never accepted, and it still sits in my Facebook friend request folder. I'm a snob. Uh, but thankfully, David Mosier came and rescued me. He's an alright guy. A little on the short side, but handsome and fashionable. Me, Amy, Adam, and Javis were supposed to maybe go up to Angola, but as I thought about it, I didn't want Javis up there. Can't quite pinpoint why, but I didn't. Adam would be fine, or not. Maybe I don't feel comfortable inviting guys up who aren't related, something like that. But anyhow, Adam and Amy ended up sleeping over and we all went to breakfast this a.m. with Natalie and Javis. I should probably ask Nat if it was okay that Adam stayed over. In my mind, it's different when it's not a boyfriend, but I could be wrong. <laughs> yeah, Miss Hypocrite Rach. You don't like boyfriends staying over, but you'll have friend guy friends stay over. No, oh, it's a big deal. I don't know, it's no big deal. I'm going over to Summers for piano, then maybe to church, then and then I have to babysit out southwest and may end up just going to mom's after that. I have a bag packed just in case. I didn't exercise today, so I could do something tomorrow morning, then go to life as well. We'll see. All right, we're into November, November 4th. So I was going to bed Sunday and decided to take my phone with me. Usually I just leave it in the kitchen. Really? I would just leave my phone in the kitchen? It wasn't attached to my hip? My bedside table? That's the hell my how things have changed. Just kidding. Okay, anyway, Amy texted me and was saying she had a sad day. So I said, sorry you had a bum day. Are we moving out or not? And my, the floodgates opened and I think I'm in over my head. She was full speed ahead on the house hunt. Oh crap, it's probably not the smartest move for me. She wants to be further north, which is further from Decatur and Bluffton in school. Not that I care about school, but so not convenient. And plus, with my stupid crush, this cannot be a good thing. Maybe it, it'll all fall through. Today I'm headed up to Angola. I'm going to buy a Powerball and win. I didn't win, guys. I didn't win Powerball that day. 
the next semester I can do my stupid school. I signed up for classes and they are not conveniently scheduled. Plus, I won't have to do Decatur. That'd be horribly out of the way if I move where Amy wants to. Plus, Natalie got a new car. I hope she's not banking on my rent to pay for it. I think her and Chris will hit the aisle sooner than later, and that'll either pave the inconvenient path to move north or home. But when I hit the Powerball, none of this will matter, right? It's a cure-all. Yikes, that's probably not a good attitude to have. Another solution might be if God sends my man into the scene. We all know that's more unlikely than me winning the lottery. My life is so simple, yet I love to complicate it with, with worry about convenience, nuts, rats, crap, crud, and balls. <laughs> oh, Chris and Natalie never did get married. She is married now to I think a guy named Matt Miller. I keep in touch. I watch her on Facebook. November 5th, wow's a holy triple sow cow. Man, today I skipped school in order to be able to work, and by work I mean drive the Smiths everywhere, from 7.30 a.m. to 8 p.m. It was worth it, I suppose. However, I fear Williams won't be too happy with me. I went to the grocery with intentions to only buy bananas, but decided I need to, needed to start a diet. I've been eating like crazy banshee. My gut is jutting out. I can only blame Tom. Anyhow, I need to run tomorrow, either outside or at gates. Paint my confusing project, go to class, then hang out with my girl Amy and Javis. Come Saturday, either go to that conference, then clean mom's for Susan's party, or go home on Sunday and clean. That's basically a horrible idea. Man, do I feel fat and greasy. Well, Amy got pre-approved for a loan. I figured I could ask the Smiths for a raise if I end up moving farther north. I'll probably drop that Monday, Wednesday morning class. I still have to see if I hit the Powerball. The stupid lady kept my sheet, so hopefully I won't need it anymore. Ha! Such wishful, useless thinking. Where's all the Bibles in this notebook? Did I quit reading Bible verses? November 10th. Well, Amy is looking at a house tomorrow. Could this actually happen? I don't know, but I do know that Chris and Brooklyn are here now. They're trying to potty train her. My word. And another thing, that doof Chris came in earlier and was like, what's happening, that huh, stuff? Really, what is up with that? Nobody calls me that. Are you kidding? Nobody except maybe Holly or Shauna. Oh, well, I'm sure it's meaningless. I didn't exercise today, and I keep spelling exercise wrong. <laughs> I actually got 100 on an assignment today. Tomorrow, I'll go to Decatur. Jeez, this is boring. Uh, why am I doing this still? I don't know. I'll go to Decatur to exercise and get started on my color design project and practice piano. On a different note, I, I went to Hoops Conference Saturday and decided I should get baptized in the Holy Spirit. I think I mean Dana Hoopengardner. Ugh, she is the worst. No offense. No, all offense, please. I waited and waited and was about to skip it, but decided, what the heck? Dana prayed over me, and as she was shaking and was like, receive it, or whatever, what? <laughs> oh, Christians, you're weird. But apparently she prophesied over me, which I'll never understand why every prophecy that was given was positive. I mean, I at least should have received some negative warning considering my situation. Yeah, you would think if there was a God and he didn't want you to be homosexual, he would have a prophetess prophesy it over you, wouldn't he? Dana Hoopengardner, you charlatan. <laughs> anyway, she said something like this. God is saving you for an appointed time. Your royalty like the Queen of Sheba with many blessings and he'll use your feet and hands to bring blessings to those without blessings. Or something like that. I don't quite get it, but I understand if it means financial blessing, because Lord knows I bless others indeed. Or maybe it means cleaning, or maybe it means deliverance, and once I'm delivered, I'll get others delivered as well. I don't know. And that's exactly how it works. It's broad. You can make it fit into any situation you want it to. Yay! 
prophecy. I am going to lean towards the hope that it's financial blessing and that I'll hit the Powerball. We'll see, won't we? Or it could mean I just passed the Purple Princess book. Blessing on. Too many interpretations. <laughs> no kidding. The prophecy's a bit vague, except Queen of Sheba seems to imply wealth. I have a stupid canker sore, and the last time I got one of those was when I hogged out on caramel corn. This time I hogged out on cinnamon bread. Both times were around the time of Tom. Not sure, though. How is how it's related. You mean, how is the, rela- how is the prophecy related? Or how the canker sore is related? Nobody... Oh, I need to go to bed. Okay. Oh, okay. We're at the Bible again. On November 13th. 2 Kings 8. In our enlightened society, it's easy to think we're above gross sin and can control our actions. We think that we'd never sink so low. Instead, we should take a more biblical and realistic look at ourselves and admit our sinful potential. Then we'll ask for God's strength to resist such evil. Anyway, it's Friday the 13th and I have a bit of a cold, but I didn't let it stop me from running at gates. I had to because I worked on homework all morning, plus Natalie wasn't working and since my hair seemed to be fine, I decided I would go to class. And after it, run. Funny thing about class, the prof put up a picture and immediately I saw the word Jesus, but apparently, oh, it's an optical illusion. And, and immediately I saw the word Jesus, but apparently the whole rest of the class didn't. Idiots. Idiots, I wrote it. Anyhow, he asked someone to describe what they saw and the, and the holy roller from the 20s started saying, I see shapes, red, white, blah, 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 blah. The holy roller from the 20s. <laughs> there was this girl who looked like a holy roller, but she also looked like she was in the 1920s. <laughs> then he was like, anything else? So I raised my hand. I couldn't believe no one else saw the most obvious thing. And he called me and was all, what do you see? To which I replied, I see Jesus. The class erupted, and one girl in the back yelled, How do you see Jesus? The prof was like, Oh, that Rachel is so astute. It's annoying sometimes. JK, I'm glad you saw it. Well, that was Williams. Professor Williams, he was a fun guy. Then he pointed it out, and the rest of the class, Ha, ah, who's the idiot now, Miss? How do you see Jesus? So there's a glimpse into my day. Now it's evening, and I have no plans. Usually I'm hanging out with yours, but she's having dinner with the giant douche sheaf. <laughs> Too bad he's not moving. He'll probably finally ball up and tell her he's a douche and likes her. <laughs> <laughs> no big deal. I've had I have I've a head cold anyway, and I figure Susan and Sarah will hang out and forget about me because I'm forgettable. Oh well. Tomorrow I'm supposed to go look at the house Amy likes. Funny thing, she likes the house with the kitchen I said I liked. I hope she's not hanging on my every word and trying to make me happy by doing what she thinks I want. Man, that's a bit self-absorbed of me, huh? But I've come to realize she does remember everything I say. Maybe not everything. Okay, I, how much of November do I have left? Because I want to get through. I want to get this done if I can. Okay, not a whole lot. Continuing. Assuming my battery holds up.